Hi. I just got done making my camper trailer 16 update video on the shower pan. So I decided I'd go ahead and try to figure out a way to test this meter that I purchased and see how much power my mini fridge and my deep freeze at the same time will pull. Now you can see they're both, nothing's on. They're both unplugged. They're both plugged in here. Now I have to apologize. I decided to use my small handheld because you couldn't see anything with my large camcorder. So you really couldn't see what I was doing or the really much of anything. So, I mean, you couldn't see that it is the mini fridge and the chest freezer plugged in. <clears throat> Now I did remember I had this plug that I made, short extension plug. I have two lights up here trying to get as much light as possible. I am still going to have to use a flashlight to try to get these numbers to show up. I apologize for this. Um, it is really dark over here in this corner. It's between my bed and the deep freeze so you know I, I, I'm going to do the best I can. Now I can, excuse me, I can hear the compressor on the mini fridge. And I can hear the compressor on the chest freezer. They're both on. I did turn them all the way up. Um, I unplugged them for about 10 minutes. Let the doors open. So they would warm up. So the compressors on both would kick. Now I don't know how accurate this meter is. Um, if you want a true test. Then... I suggest you buy a real kilowatt meter to test this with. Like I said, I don't know if this is accurate or not. It, it could be. Alright. Now it's going to be hard for me to see this. And it's going to be harder for you to see this. It's at 136 watts. 135. Alright. A hundred and twenty one point seven volts, I believe. One twenty one six. I apologize if the light is bothering you. Now let's go for amps. 1.43 amps 1.42 amps I hope you can see this I really do I can see it through the little screen on the camera so I hope you can see the numbers there's a bunch of junk on here I will not use on this meter and it's 135 watts 135 watts Uh, I just pass volts. 121.8 volts it looks like. And 1.41 amps. So, let's see if this could be correct. This is my Avante chest freezer. I don't know if you can see this. Let me grab one of these other lights to make it easier. This is the 2.1 cubic foot Avante 
this runs on 115 volt and 0 0.45 amps so knowing that could this meter be right it absolutely could be I'm not saying it is I'm not not saying it's not but given the amount of power that is being pulled from both the mini fridge and the chest freezer 1.39 amps let's get back to watts a hundred and thirty one watts that is for you both the chest freezer and the mini fridge with the freezer on the top let's get back to amps or volts sorry 121.9 volts 121.8 volts 7 so somewhere around 122 volts less than an amp and a half because it's 1.39 amps and 130 watts so can you run a chest freezer and a mini fridge off of solar like 400 watts yes now would I attempt to do this all the time 24 hours a day no not unless I had a large battery bank that would carry them so much power all through the night that's why I purchased timers so these will shut off and on especially at night they don't need to be running all night long they just need to be able to stay cold enough or cool enough to keep your food good during the night. If these turned off and on maybe twice a night for 15 minutes, that would keep your food in the freezer frozen and your food in the refrigerator good. Um, I was trying to think of something else I wanted to talk about. And... Oh, it just completely slipped my mind. I, I don't remember what it was. Uh, anyway, if, it, if you want to test your own products, that's fine. You know, to say how much power they use. I really have to apologize for the small camera and the shaking. Um, it's just really hot in here right now, and it's going to get so much hotter. And I decided to do this tonight because... Well, I wanted to get it done and tested and test this meter and show you how much power these pull. Oh, I remember what it was. <laughs> if you want any information about either one of the, these products, I do not sell them. I do not get commissioned on them. All I can tell you is where I got them, what I paid when I paid for them and who I ordered them from off of eBay because both of these were ordered off of eBay so all I can do is tell you who I got them from um, how much I paid at the time that I purchased these and once again if you're going to run stuff like this oh another thing um, if you're going to run either one of these off of a solar setup a solar system I believe, really believe, one reason these are not drawing twice as much power as they are now is because they are already cold. So, if you're going to run a chest freezer or a mini fridge off of solar, before you hook it up to your solar, get this chest freezer, freezer frozen. Hook it up to a generator. Um, when this originally froze, is like... 12 to 24 hours something like that for it to freeze over and this took four six hours completely get to working like it should have been 
um, something like that. So before you hook this up to your solar setup, your solar system, make sure they are frozen. If you're going to hook them up to solar, make sure you have enough batteries. Um, I say two uh, two solar. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Just a cough at fit for some reason. I'm always saying for every one battery, especially if you're using lead acid, used two 100 watt solar panels and a good charger controller. All right. I'm fixing to have a cough and fit again, so I'm fixing to go, and everyone have a good night. All right, bye.